My name is Heather Itzla and I'm originally from Southern California. I have lived in the Bay Area for the past 25 years. I am a parent of two teenaged boys and I am working on environmental advocacy through the Environmental Forum of Marin. I am a blogger with a blog called thereisnoaway.net and it is about plastic pollution and how it gets from city streets and suburban streets to our waterways and oceans. When I realized that all the plastic ever made, ever, ever, still exists, it doesn't ever go away, it doesn't, uh, it photodegrades, it doesn't biodegrade, and when I realized that and how much plastic is in our lives and how much I see on the streets, it, it awakened something within me. So I, at first, was just picking it up and disposing of it, feeling just like I couldn't see it there and leave it there. It, made me feel horrible. And then I think it, it was when I would bring home my bag full of plastic I'd found on a one hour walk. And my family would say, "That's you found all that today? And I'd say, no, I found all that in an hour. And it started getting people's attention when we would talk about it, that this much garbage came from an hour of walking around what looks like a really pristine, beautiful area. I originally started posting the pictures that I would take on Facebook because that was where my friends were and that's who I was having the conversation with. And the dialogue really picked up. People would say, I, I'm no longer using that product because of this conversation or now I'm, I'm not using Ziploc bags anymore, I use wax bags. I realized that there were greater conversations to be had and people actually responded positively to the photographs themselves. I think what arrested me early on was in my plastic collection, especially when I'm at a park or somewhere where there's a lot of kids, is I saw in what I was picking up what I had used and done in my own children's upbringing. So when I started seeing the, the fallout from a birthday party, the balloons and the strings and then the weight that, that holds the balloon, when I started finding all of that, uh, it, it made me think of how much I have contributed. Even living somewhere as aware as Marin County, as the Bay Area, where, where discussions about plastic pollution are common, it's, a, it's not a, an unknown here, you would think that I might start to collect less of it. But it's, that's not the case. There's as much or more than, than I've seen over the years. I think a big step in getting a, a handle on the problem of plastic pollution is awareness. Having consumers understand their connection to how their own personal garbage can get out there. But I think beyond that, my hope is that the more we understand, the more society understands, the more information, the more science there is to, to back this up, that we demand change, that we, that we ask for a, a, a do-over. I think living in Northern California, and particularly here in this part of Marin, there's a strong environmental thread that runs through Marin County and San Francisco too. The more people you meet here and the more you're exposed, the more you, your eyes are opened to protecting this beautiful space that, that we're so fortunate to live in.